fellow Nardians, this is Marty for another edition of Puddle Glum's music collection. Um, I was thinking yesterday that it was the 40th anniversary, I think, of uh, Kansas's um, Point of No Return album. So I was going to go over two of their, their previous live outings that they put out in kind of a box set. See which one, I just kind of compare the two. Um, one of them is the Left Overture, Live and Beyond. And the other one is Point of No Return, Live and Beyond. So I thought I'd take a look at both of those with you, and we'll take a look at them. So I'll go up here and grab them. All right, they're right up here. So the first one that came out was Left Overture in this box set. Now this box set was built way better than the the next one that came out as far as uh, how it was put together. This is a very tough box, heavy cardboard, nice looking. And they got a lot of, they went into a lot of deep cuts on these. Like they, this one, they, uh, of course they did the whole Left Overture album, but then they did a lot of deep cuts of things. So it was really nice. Starts off with Icarus 2 off of, uh, you know, somewhere to elsewhere, um, and uh, then I went into Icarus, Born on Wings of Steel, you know, from uh, Mask, and then they went through, a, they had Lamp Light, Lamp Light Sympathy, Symphony, uh, Journey from Maria Braun, and uh, all sorts of different deeper cuts from the other albums, which I thought was very nice. Um, this one had four albums with it, and if you put them all together on the floor, they would all make a picture, so <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, but I thought it sounded great. A lot of people talked about a uh, some kind of voice manipulation on it or something, but I don't know, I didn't hear much of that. Um, if you know anything about that, put it in the comments below. Um, I have this on black vinyl, and uh, I just thought it sounded phenomenal. And it's one of their better live albums. There's a few spots where now it says on here there was no overdubbing or anything. Uh, there's a couple spots where some of the background vocals are a little off, but uh, as far as the musicianship on here it was amazing. Um, Yeah, uh, so the packaging on this was really great, I thought. And it was done in a lot of different theaters all over. Um, Ronnie Platt, I thought, sounded great on it. And uh, Billy Greer, of course, I always like his voice on it. Of course, you have Rich Williams and Phil Ehart, which are the original members that are still in Kansas. But I think these new Kansas albums are just as good as the old ones. I think they picked the right people to replace people like Carrie Lippert and Steve Walsh, Dave Hope. Um, this is the next one that came out. This is a Point of No Return, Live and Beyond. And as you can see, the packaging is a little bit lighter. And once again, they go into a lot of deep cuts. You know, songs from Power, um, songs from all Although they got Cold Gray Morning, which is actually a Carrie Lippman song. Um, so they did some deep cuts, on, deep cuts on here, and then they go to the point of no return. Um, they got a really, uh, I mean, the end of this album, where they do um, Lonely Wind, Refugee, People of the South Wind. It's more acoustic, and it just sounds, I, have, I thought it was amazing. I guess live they would do those in the front. But here they put them on the end, which is really good. And the packaging is still great on these. This is a, this one opens up. They give you another album there that fits in there. They even give you a little booklet. You can find the booklet. It's only two pages, but they, they give you the band. And, it's a nice booklet that comes with it. So yeah, 
It was really, I thought it was really great. Um, thinking of the two, I think I like uh, this one a little better. But I do like the packaging for the Left Overture better. But I think they both sound great. Uh, the Point of No Return I got with Glow in the Dark vinyl. Which, you know, a lot of the colored vinyl I don't hear much of a difference. I think there was a little little surface noise with the glow in the dark vinyl but I thought I bought the uh, glow in the dark I thought I bought the uh, the black on that but I didn't <laughs> so yeah so if you can find these pick them up and buy them because they're just a great collection of live uh, music and they sound really good I, I love the the people they had replace Carol Lippert and Dave Hope Steve Walsh are just phenomenal, I thought. And uh, like some bands go out there, I don't particularly uh, like a lot of the people I picked to take the place of other ones, yes. Uh, but I think uh, Kansas does a great job with it. So if you can find these two, pick them up because they're great. So Kansas Left Overture, Live and Beyond. Kansas Point of No Return, Live and Beyond. A lot of music and it sounds great so uh, this is probably the I think this is the 40th anniversary I think was the 11th or 12th of October was the 40th anniversary of uh, Point of No Return so I thought I'd just show those two and uh, so and then press on you to pick them up so have a great day see ya